Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fantastic Insights, where we provide insights from some of the coolest people in franchising. My name is Alicia Visconti. I am the CEO of Franserve and Franchise Dictionary Magazine. Now, Franserve is the largest franchise consulting organization in the world. And our mission is very simple. We help change people's lives through franchise ownership. And we do that through a network of incredible franchisors and franchise consultants who help their candidates explore franchise opportunities. Now today, I'm very excited. I have one of a true gem in the franchise uh, community, Mark Jameson with us. Now Mark is the Chief Support and Development Officer for Fast Signs, one of my favorite brands. So Mark, welcome to the show. Alisa, thank you so much. I'm, I'm thrilled and honored to be here and a uh, big fan of Franserve and Franchise Dictionary. You've built an amazing brand with great consultants and uh, we're, we're thrilled to be a part of it. And thanks for including me. Thank you so much, Mark. That's so sweet of you. The, the, the respect and admiration is reciprocal. So I'd love it if you could share with our audience a little bit about Fast Signs, what it does and you know, what traits make your brand unique. Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we are thrilled to be, you are the largest uh, in your industry and we're the largest in our industry. So a great, a great match here this morning. Uh, we have uh, 750 locations in nine countries today. We are truly a global brand. Um, and what's exciting about that is uh, we serve the, uh, you know, we're a business to business brand. Not everybody thinks of us that way because we take prime real estate. Uh, but we are a B2B brand. We serve other businesses. And what's great about this brand is for most people, it's a Monday through Friday work week, which, you know, it's, this, is a, this is a time in our lives when people are appreciating uh, their family and friends. And so it allows that opportunity. And because we're B2B, we also uh, build relationships with customers. While we're selling sign and graphics, we really approach the market different than most anybody in this industry. And that is really from a, um, a uh, solutions provider. So we don't want to just be the yard sign company, which we can do, but we really work with large companies uh, and we and medium companies and help them with everything from wall graphics to floor graphics to um, to uh, repurposing uh, 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 cabinets. I mean, what's amazing about our business today is the technology and the output of what we can do. Uh, most customers don't even know what our capabilities are. Uh, and we're thrilled that we can make a lot of customers happy. Uh, we're continuing to grow uh, and we're excited about that. Um, even during COVID, we've had uh, record uh, sales and, and new center openings. We've opened 20 new centers, um, most of which have happened during COVID. And we're, we're, we're continuing to work with our franchisees and pivot in this new time today. But as a global brand, we're continuing to grow both domestically and internationally. Uh, you know, our, our CEO, as you well know, Catherine Monson, really is a big believer in focusing on on four key strategic initiatives for us. And number one is to drive profitability for our franchisees. We know that profitable franchisees are happy franchisees. Uh, and so it's all about unit level economics. Secondly, we wanna to continue to focus on driving top line sales, uh, but we wanna have profit with that. So that's why we talk about that first. Third, um, one of the things that we're very thrilled about is we, uh, we wanna to continue to make the brand top of mind. We spend about $12 million a year on national marketing and TV and advertising. We're the only ones in the industry doing our national TV commercials. And then the last for us is, is one that's kind of core to my heart as the chief support officer and development officer is, and that is franchise satisfaction. We work really hard to make sure that our franchisees are happy, that we're giving them the support and the resources they need, especially during these times, but really any time and we measure that satisfaction. So kind of a long answer there, but I, I, hopefully I covered most of it. No, it's an excellent answer. And again, you know, a lot of people not really understanding what Fast Science is about. So I think a few people just had an aha moment. So You know what, yeah, it's, it's interesting that you say that. What, what Catherine always says is to our salespeople is if you walk in and ask them if they need a sign, the answer is no, because you probably just walked in. So ask them what they need from a visual communications perspective and how do we convey their brand to their customers, which, which now opens up a whole uh, array of products and services that most people don't always think that we can do. 
Exactly. That's great. And you know, you touched on a little bit about expansion and plans. And I know there's a lot of growth going on with fast signs. Can, can you again share some of those uh, concepts with us? Yeah, I mean, we have three models that we grow. One is an international master model. One is a conversion slash co-brand and then traditional new centers. Um, this year, we'll probably open somewhere between 30 and 35 locations domestically. We just opened our first location in the Dominican Republic. So when things return to normal, you'll have to join us for the grand opening. Twist um, my arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we just opened our second location in the UK this year as well. So we're continuing to grow. Um, you know, we have uh, about 450 open U.S. markets. Um, and while there are markets we're sold out in, because we're also pretty protective of our franchisees. We are not one to continue to just put locations in a market without measuring penetration levels and making sure that there's opportunity for everybody. Um, but I'm also excited, if you'll let me announce, that uh, two weeks ago we acquired a small franchisor in Connecticut. In fact, I'm headed there later today called nerds to go uh, And we're excited. nerds to go is uh, in the um, uh, IT services space. And today, with many people working from home and a lot of small businesses, we felt it was just a great target for a similar customer base as Fast Signs. And, you know, today nerds to go has 25 locations. Um, so what that means to us is the world is our oyster and wide open. Um, and uh, they're headquartered in Guilford, Connecticut. And the CEO, David Colella, is going to stay on board and run that company. And we're just going to provide overarching support. Uh, our franchise sales team will be driving the sales of new locations and new markets. And uh, I'm excited about the future of both brands. I really am. They're, they're in a great space right now. Um, uh, both of them were essential businesses, so they stayed open during COVID. They continue to serve customers. And I would say both of the brands have pivoted to kind of new products and services during this time as well. So very excited about our continued growth, both domestic and internationally, and excited to grow the Nerds to Grow brand to really become the leader in the uh, IT services space. I think it's a wonderful acquisition and I wish you much success. But again, it's not a wish. It, I'm sure it will just come to fruition. With Well, it'll come to fruition team. and it'll come to fruition with a lot of help from FranServe uh, because I know we'll be working with you guys to help grow that brand like you've done a great job in helping us grow the Fast Signs brand. And, and uh, we love this partnership, uh, Alicia, and everything that you all do for franchising really means a lot to us. And we're in this together. I appreciate that, Mark, so much. And again, you know, the consultants love this brand, so thank you. Now, we're talking a little bit about, you know, nerds to go and fast science. And so can you, you just kind of share some of the qualities that you look for in a franchise owner? You know, for example, with fast science, do they have to have, you know, a background in signs or in print? Maybe you could kind of outline a little bit about what makes a good franchisee for you. Yeah, great question. And, you know, really what's interesting is, and this was certainly part of our due diligence, both brands seek a similar candidate. Um, and what we're really looking for, so the short answer is we don't want people, I shouldn't say we don't want people, we don't need people with sign and graphics experience, and we don't need people in nerds to go with IT. What we really want is more senior level folks that are ready for a change in their career very often. Maybe they're tired of travel. Um, maybe they found themselves in uh, unemployment. Um, but we're looking for people that wanna be sales drivers. You can hire great people to make a sign and to install a sign and to wait on customers and to take care of the customer's needs. But our franchisees are, live in the community they're the face of the business, they're engaged in the community, they give back to the community. And so what we seek are franchisees that really want to drive and build a business. Um, and so many of them love the fact that it's in their own community. I, I remember visiting even a market like New York City with our franchisee there a couple of years ago, who we walked around the block and he was so proud of, we put that sign up, we did that window graphics, you know, we, we did these floor graphics. And so what we really want are community-minded people that want to create a great culture, know how to build a sales team, um, and drive growth. And uh, we have a lot of great tools and resources to do that. Um, but there's no doubt that Catherine and I are big believers that it is the franchisee that makes all the difference by taking the tools that the brand builds. So if somebody has sales experience, 
you know, on the fast sign side, advertising and marketing executives do really well also because they are selling solutions. And that is what this is about is selling concept in many cases and solutions. So uh, those are the folks that do best for us. But we also have a great conversion program where we convert independent sign businesses. So if somebody was flying the flag on their own and now wanted the benefits of a national brand and the marketing and the lower buying power, well, we can fill that niche as well. Um, but I would say lucky for us, the candidates for both brands are very similar folks. Um, don't need the experience. We want, in some ways, it's kind of nice if they don't have the experience because they approach the market from a fast signs perspective or a nerds to go perspective as to maybe what they knew of their past. That's great. And you go, you know, I wanted to just emphasize that because isn't that the whole concept of franchising, right? Is that if you have the support and you have the model and you have the blueprint for success that you don't need to have the experience in that chosen market so that's why i wanted you to expand on that mark and i appreciate so so listeners you know again you do not need to have the the print knowledge uh, the sign knowledge the it knowledge to be to for either a france uh, a fast signs or a nerds to go franchisee so thank you gotta you wear the market. brand flag proudly and get out there and drive customers and 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 we'll help you drive customers so and don't you offer, if I'm not mistaken, don't you offer some great discounts for veterans for, for, uh, and first responders? Isn't that correct, Mark? We do. Uh, several years ago at Fast Signs, we reduced our franchise fee by 50% um, for veterans. Um, and we added about two years ago, first responders. You know, both of those communities give so much to all of us. And we're so appreciative of Fast Signs, but with veterans and first responders. So we offer a 50% discount on the franchise fee. Um, we're gonna carry that program into nerds to go identical. It'll be a 50% discount because uh, we have lots of space to grow in that brand. And you know, today at Fast Signs, veterans are about 14% of our network. Um, so it's a, uh, it's a big part of our brand. It's a big part of our network. And you know, A, who better to be thankful for than veterans and first responders? And they are amazing franchisees. If, if, if nobody knows better how to follow a system, uh, it is certainly our veterans. So, yeah, we're excited about that. We're proud of it. We continue to grow our veteran ranks. Uh, we also were one of the only um, uh, recipients of the Freedom Award uh, three or four years ago by the Secretary of Defense because of how we treated as a company one of our employees who was um, uh, deployed with a young family and the company really stepped up uh, and helped him and supported his family. And he, he uh, submitted us for that award and we won. So we're really, really proud of our veteran heritage um, and want to continue to grow with veterans. And I, well, we love the Vet Fran program. I know you're very involved in that with the IFA. And I think that that program really helps illustrate what uh, franchising, be it fast signs or otherwise, can do for veterans and that's such a way to give back. Yes, and I was just gonna comment about VetFran. I know that you guys are also a member of VetFran uh, for the International Franchise Association as, as we are uh, and I'm on the committee. Just again, veterans being near and dear to my heart. So thank you for that generous discount. It's wonderful to hear you'll also be doing it for nerds to go So yeah, thank you very excited. much. You're welcome, thank you. Now, Mark, let's go a little bit deeper and, and talk about one of, you know, my favorite hashtags on social media, and that's Franchise Strong. Now, I'm very passionate about uh, Franchise Strong. I probably use that hashtag even more than I do my own company, my own, right? So I, 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 I love it because to me, it really does embody everything that franchising is. It's, it's, we come together as a community, whether the economy is up or down, whether there's a pandemic or not, we come together to help people dream come true of franchise ownership. And we just never lose sight of helping people to do that. And to me, that's really what the, the franchise family, as we call it, right, yep. is all about. So can you share what Franchise Strong means to you and to your brands? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot of things. I mean, I think what I enjoy most about my role with the company and, and my years in franchising is to watch that journey, right? As a franchisee goes through the discovery process and they make a decision and they join your brand and they open their doors and look, the first couple of years of any business is a struggle. Um, but to see them get through that and really push ahead and drive volumes 
uh, that we never imagined. So I think it's a great opportunity for people to, to create personal wealth and personal freedom, right? It's all about the opportunity to do what I want to do when I want to do it and control my destiny. That's what it means to me. But I want to also touch on something you said, because it's been more evident in this last few months than ever, and it's always been there, is franchise companies working together, competitors, non-competitors, um, some in related industries, some in not related industries. And that is amazing, much through the International Franchise Association, which I know you're involved in, and I have some, some involvement. Our CEO, Catherine, is the chair of the IFA. But what, 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 what franchising does for franchising, franchisees and franchisors working together, sharing ideas, um, supporting our customers and our brands is really incredible to me. Um, and I love to watch it. It's great to be there together. I miss that, you know, seeing everybody at your conventions and at the IFA convention and frankly, even our conventions, because uh, we're all family, you know, whether it's the Fast Signs franchisees or the Nerds to Go franchisees uh, or the FranServe consultants um, or anybody in franchising, we all have the same mission. And I love, especially in this day of political disputes that people put everything aside and they work towards a common goal. Um, and uh, I, that, 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 that makes uh, franchising a great place to be. So that's what it means to me. I totally agree. And, and I know even within your own brands, I mean, I see the franchisees helping each other, reaching out for support, which again is just an extension of the entire franchise family. So it's, it's on every level. And, and I will tell you, it's, I've, I've come from other industries where you do not see the, you know, I'll call them friendly rivals, right? right. Competing brands come together to really strengthen the community. And it, it's heartwarming to see that. So I mean, I'll, I'll tell you a great example, not to interrupt, but, but oh, uh, please. at the start of the pandemic, we knew we were considered essential business by many. Um, but it was, it was gray by some states mm -hmm. and counties. So we actually got together with the sign competitors and we worked with the International Sign Association and created letters to all of the governors, anybody that could influence or make those decisions. Um, and we all band together to say we're an essential business because we serve essential businesses. And it was so great to see us cast aside uh, all of our egos and our proudness, I guess, and say, hey, this is what's best for franchising. This is what's best for our independent business owners, for us to be an essential business. And the association stepped up, IFA as well. And it was just great to see uh, people who, you know, maybe go head to head a little bit in the street, uh, but all recognize that what's good for franchising and good for small business is good for all of us. Well, that is awesome. And I have to tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, even when you're speaking, you can hear the passion come up, right, in, in your voice. And I know you've been in franchising for quite some time, Mark, and yet the passion comes right up to the surface. So I really do see how you feel about franchising and, uh, and about the pride that you have in developing fast signs and now to come nerds to go. So, you know, that is just the whole concept of why people go into franchising, right? What do we, yep. what's the tagline? Be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. They use it all the time. Right? <laughs> so I appreciate your time, Mark. I know you're very busy and I want to, you know, thank you so much for being on Fantastic Insights. Now, any last words before we wrap up? Well, uh, again, and thank you for having me. I'm honored and thrilled. Uh, I have so much respect for you and what you do in FranServe and Franchise Dictionary. Uh, not to mention, I consider you a great friend. So I, I appreciate that. You know, look, we're going to continue to grow and develop these two brands, Fast Signs and nerds to go I'm so proud of my 11 years with Fast Signs that we've built it to be the number one brand ranked by Forbes magazine and Entrepreneur and uh, uh, ranked for franchise satisfaction. So I'm just excited about where we're going. I'm excited about the support uh, that FranServe gives us, that the IFA gives us, and that our franchisees working together. Never have I seen a time, uh, while there's a lot struggling out there, what's also happening is more people are stepping up and helping uh, uh, friends and, and other franchisees to really make this a positive thing. So it's so exciting to see that we're going to continue to grow and we're going to continue to grow with FranServe and Franchise Dictionary. And we appreciate all your efforts to help us grow these great brands. 
My pleasure. And didn't Fast Signs, didn't you just celebrate, what is it, 35 years? Is that right? Yeah, January was 35 years in history. So uh, what's amazing is, you know, when you join a mature brand like this, when I came in, we were 25 years. It's so cool to see that we can, we just this morning announced that we got ranked number six in veterans by Entrepreneur Magazine as a top veteran franchise, the only ones in our industry. Um, and to be number one ranked by entrepreneur for the last five years in a row, that's hard to do when you're 35 years in this industry to keep growing and keep finding ways to get recognized. But yeah, 35 years and, and, uh, and you're right. I have a passion for this brand. Our whole team does. We love our franchisees uh, and we love what we're all building together. So thank you for including us. Definitely comes through. So thank and next you again, year I want to be back to talk about all we've done with nerds to go. Yes. Oh, absolutely. You know that's going to be on our schedule. I look forward to that. So, and I hope as soon as we're able, you know, can't wait to see you, but at least here we get to connect. So thank you again. And I just have to say it, have a fantastic day. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks, Mark.